Hello guys, welcome back to Revit 2016 video tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will go through the modeling of slabs for our house building. Okay, let me exit these things. So, we have it over here, our plan. If you see in other elevations, you can see the walls curved walls and the piles and I have also added a parking level above basement at a 15 feet as you can see it's over here from basement from over here so this both will be utilized for parking and from here the offices start So if I go to basement, so here you see uh, there's a basement. So now I need a foundation slab for the basement, just above the, let's say, the footings. So I need a slab over here because foundation slab and like floor slab it will be entirely different. So in order to have foundation slab what we'll do is we'll go to structure and over there we'll go to slab we'll select structural foundation slab so once you select it you can see over here boundary line you need to select this option and now in order to um, in order, let's say in order to have the slab over the entire structure I need to select the points within a, uh, a inter, uh, ex external points within which I can have the slab so for example I have a, I take uh, I select line command and I select the points so that a line is formed over here entirely then I can slab I can have the bigger slab inside of this structure of the plan you can do that way but you you will, need, you will have to select each and every point and that will be a uh, tiresome process so what I will do is I will select here another option pick walls and so that I can select I can pick the walls within which in, and in that uh, let's say in that boundary I can have the slab so uh, let me provide here an offset so since I have a uh, wall over here if I don't provide any offset it will go through the center but if I provide an offset uh, it will be, uh, the slab will be over the end I mean it will cover the foundations so let me say 3 feet now when I uh, when I move move the move my mouse over the uh, wall, you can see the dotted lines, which indicates the boundary line for drawing a slab. So as you see, even the foundation is not yet covered completely. So let me say three feet five inches. Uh, it doesn't look like that let's say six okay it's almost good let us go for eight we just need to be safe so that exactly uh, exactly matches the boundaries so that's good now what I will do is I will select the walls and I want the dotted line on upper side so that I can have uh, the slab on the inner side so let's select over here over here over here over here here and here and here and here 
so once I have selected this you can just select this symbol right symbol and your slab will be created so you, what you need to make sure is you don't have any lines intersecting I mean the boundary lines so you, since I have a wall over here and if I am to select uh, let's say if I am to select uh, over here and I, uh, I have a, I have a boundary line on my right side of the wall so when I do that the boundary line will be intersecting with with this line and on the bottom side with that with the perpendicular line so that will uh, cause an cause an interference and it will it is kind of an error for this so you need to make sure there are no intersecting lines just like this an enclosed structure an enclosed figure if I uh, I mean if I draw some kind of line and that will be intersecting so we don't need inter uh, intersection lines in between now I'll select right symbol and our slab our foundation slab has been created but we cannot see it in this view oh, let us try if it's possible now now let it be wireframe and let us go to 3d so in 3d oh you can see that there are no foundations visible but you can see from the bottom so now you have done the foundation slab so it's it's really simple but you need you need to have right dimensions everything so uh, whenever we selected uh, it was six inch six inches foundation slab I mean we can have a uh, we can have even thicker and even thinner we just need to go to edit type and select edit and we can uh, change it over here but I doesn't need that I don't need it so you can you can uh, you can have different um, views in here like shaded color hidden line you can have medium there you go almost realistic so in this way you can uh, do the foundation slabs thank you for watching the video